There are a lot of aims and goals that you can have in life, but spiritual enlightenment is really a high goal to have because uh, you really do benefit infinitely from gaining the consciousness of your waking state and uh, using this lifetime to actually benefit and keep your consciousness um, over into the afterlife. What you gain now, you will hold and keep forever. And it's called gaining the kingdom of heaven first, and then all else will be added to you. With a grain of sand, of with a grain of faith, basically, you can uh, gain the kingdom of heaven now and keep it until the afterlife. And that is through the mechanism of consciousness, which is gained through meditation. If uh, you are meditating every day and daily, you will actually start to seep into your meditation and eventually you will gain the permanent state of meditation that never fails and never leaves you because what you are experimenting with in meditation is non-dual consciousness and in order to get into the non-dual state of consciousness all you simply have to do is close your eyes and meditate and then you have the non-dual state of consciousness when the consciousness becomes uh, established that is when you will find that you have to integrate it with your life in order to uh, continue living peacefully in harmony with nature. So you're, you're living and embodying the master of the teacher of the truth uh, of enlightenment over um, your lifestyle. Spiritual enlightenment remains a beautiful goal to have and uh, a great fruit and boon uh, that comes down to us from the spiritual masters and spiritual teachers over the many years and many uh, lineages that uh, approach studying the truth of meditation and consciousness and um, the occult sciences that are developed thereby, basically. What you are gaining is consciousness and maturity of your consciousness happens over many years. And um, when you do gain ultimate maturity of consciousness, you gain Christ consciousness, unity consciousness, co uh, universal consciousness, cosmic consciousness. And um, this is the state of the Buddhas, the state of uh, Christ, and um, the state of the avatars of God, which is called God consciousness. And one of the many ways to get to God consciousness is devotional service. So devotional service is a yoga that gets you closer to God consciousness. Another one is discriminative knowledge yoga. It's a yoga of consciousness that where you have to um, notice and um, realize certain realizations and truths that are uh, affected by your consciousness. And... Ultimately, the goal is to gain immortality through consciousness, basically, because of the continuation of consciousness that you gain, your consciousness becomes indestructible and cannot be destroyed by death. Death becomes something that is a tool and a practical technology that we can utilize in the greater aspect of living in eternal truths. So spiritual enlightenment is a great aim to aim for and you should always look to the great masters who have attained it, who have given us great teachings such as the uh, I Am Presence and um, Consciousness itself. So um, when you gain the infinite consciousness of infinite peace, it's something that you can never lose and something that will always be with you in every single way.